Good evening. Only a week has passed, and um, in the past one week, a lot of things have happened. If it's around global issues, it will be something that you can look at without a surprise. But in Nigeria, it's something that's always happening, almost on a daily basis. Is it whether the social media is agog with whether Mr. President is getting married, when he actually was not even doing that, and when the lady that he was getting married to was somewhere in New York doing his job, or that the First Lady herself is on her way to Nigeria a whole week before he, she even started coming to Nigeria. But that's not what happened. There was a BBC report that was so strong and just trended so fast that one could not even understand what was happening. But then when you check the video, then you will understand the gravity of the claims and what can happen to Nigeria if things like this are not put in check. Let's play the video very briefly again and then we'll recap on it and discuss it further. Welcome to Sunny Irabo Live. Five girls like you always fall very Sex for grades. University professors sexually harassing and blackmailing their students. The students have been going on for years, and every single year, every single department, every student student, there's always a story. When I was at university, I was sexually harassed, and I'm not the only one. It's been a problem in West Africa for decades. She's not paying for it. Paying for it with, with our body. For more than a year, BBC Africa Eye has been investigating and secretly filming inside the region's most prestigious universities, the University of Lagos and the University of Ghana. How many guys have today? How many guys have today? Nobody wants to listen. Nobody wants to believe victim. It is crazy. I know a lot of people have been abused and nobody is trying to do anything. For the first time, We've captured sexual harassment by lecturers on camera. Switch off the slide. Lock the door. I kiss you for a minute. My name is Kiki Mordi. Lecturers who harass students. Africa Eye has been watching. Well hidden. Right. Invisible. We're good to go then. Yeah. In the University of Lagos, nine months of interviewing current and former students led us to a senior lecturer in the Faculty of Arts, a former sub dean and the head pastor of the local Four Square Gospel Church. His name is Dr. Boniface Igwene. After a number of students alleged Dr. Boniface had abused them, we sent an undercover journalist to meet with him. She posed as a 17-year-old secondary school graduate under the legal age of consent in Lagos State, who wanted admission into the University of Lagos, commonly known as Unilac. He invited her to his office for a number of tutorials. Whenever she was inside, our journalist had a panic button. All right. Justin. Yes, I can hear you. If secretly activated, the rest of our team who were hiding nearby would be alerted and come to the rescue. So sit down. How old are you? 17. I look very big like this. Not long into their first ever meeting, Dr. Boniface began to comment on her appearance. What do you mean, a beautiful girl? <laughs> Do you know that? Eh? We are not beautiful. We are very beautiful. We are very beautiful girl. You know I'm a pastor. Do you know I'm a pastor? I know. Good. Do you know? And I'm in my 50s. Okay. okay. What is shock you is that even at my age now, you know, yeah. if I want a girl of your age, I'm too old. Yeah. All, all I do is to turn down. Who's a doctor? Really? Yes. Yeah. A few days later, Dr. Boniface invited her to a second meeting and asked her 
to pray with him. But this prayer did not feel normal. It was disturbing. Lord Jesus Christ, my friends, Lord Jesus Christ, accept that you are my Lord and my God. I accept that you are my Lord and my God. Guide me and direct me. Guide me and direct me right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Okay, so, I mean, of course, you understand. Many of you would have seen the entire video uh, footage, or you've heard a lot about it with all over social media. The thing is, what can we do as Nigerians to stem this disgraceful thing, if you ask me. And then, of course, the victims themselves. How can they be saved from the, <laughs> the sinister hands of some of these people who take advantage of the young girls? And the young girls who may find themselves in a position where they cannot do anything else except to succumb, how can they face the reality and then call their bluff and not do it? So many questions, but I have to persons in the studio. One is a man, one is a woman. There's going to be a debate. I'm just the third party. <laughs> I'm just who I am. I may be a man, but I'm a third party. Mr. Adelia Fulanyo, I'm asking him to talk first. And then, of course, Ms. Winnie Oda. Now, this is an issue that many of us worry about. Mr. Fulanyo, that video, you heard a lot about it. And it's just less, it's a week old. What do you think? sad, unfortunate, almost depressing. Hmm. Okay. Um, makes one wonder to what extent man would go, man in this case, mankind, hmm. to pursue a goal with motive that is so calculated and deliberate with not just natural talent and gift but with acquired intelligence mm. for an academic to exercise such deliberate strategies i need you to say that loud exercise what again such deliberate strategy mm. Mm. yeah miss oda what's your take on it Hmm. Well, <laughs> like we debated earlier today, it's uh, it's something that w I won't say troubling because the the part that's troubling is that it would be forgotten in a few days. You think so? Which is w what happens in Nigeria most times. Hmm? Yes. Okay. People would scream, make noise about it online, but nothing would be done about it. This is it's, it's a situation that has been going on for so long in our universities. I'm so happy that uh, the BBC went ahead to put this out there. It has brought back attention to a topic that is usually just, you know, pushed aside. So I understand that this thing happens almost in every area of Nigeria's life, either in the office, in school, at lecture halls, and all those places, even at home sometimes. If you ask a young lady to go and live with a family, who is not their child, they abuse them. Even parents have been known where a father abused his daughter. Is Nigeria cursed? Um, I, I would take that very personal. Mm -hmm. um, that would suggest that such is every man. Such uh, is what? Every man. Uh -huh. I take very strong exception to that. Okay. I have, I have responsible fathers, mm -hmm. responsible uncles, responsible friends, across all ages. But it does not erase the fact that it happens anyway. Absolutely, but to extend it to a cause uh, would suggest uh, sheer sensi sensationalism okay. of, 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 of so, unnecessary uh, dimension because cause would suggest that it is irredeemable and it is divine and spiritual. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that, now that, that expresses that in, ignorance. This man Yes, with please. all due respect, yes, is a lecturer, and so a molder of intellect in a young person. He's also a pastor, so he's a molder of spiritual, you know, 
development in a person. So how do you now, and don't forget also, <laughs> you're laughing, but there's a man who is still trying to recover from being accused, a pastor for that matter, from being accused of taking another man's wife and even going to the extent of raping her. This is just one of the very many things that are happening. How do you react to that? That's my statement, the reason behind my statement. I mean, um, I, I hear you, sir. And I know that it's, a, it's, it's a, like I, I expressed that. It, the, the, the impact is nearly depressing. Uh, but truth is, we need to be conscious of our feelings. Okay. And um, should every, anybody who has his or her biology intact should become conscious and aware of what sensual, um, natural endowment we have. But such should never be abused. It must be curtailed. And it actually suggests that we have a lot of psychiatric cases if we should be able to establish that there are many who are anywhere near such um, inhuman, because it's one thing to have a natural biological reaction, mm -hmm. is another thing to submit oneself to such animalistic um, um, splendor. You know, it, you use the word <laughs> splendor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, Winnie, Sorry. here you are, a young lady. I hate to say this, but put yourself in that young lady's position. What would be your reaction? Would you die the matter? Would you scream for help? W what would you do? Hmm. May you never be in such Amen. a situation. Amen. The thing with that kind of situation is that you may not necessarily know what you would do till you are in it. Because you might feel like, I, I would say, if you ask me that question, I would say the first thing is to uh, tell him no, or if, it, if he's trying to force himself on me, is to fight back or to scream, all of that. But it's until you're in that situation, you'd see how terrifying it is. Yeah. Yes. And you might be a strong-willed person naturally, but for some reason, there's, be, there's been people who have been, they, they would not be able to speak. Yeah. They would just, like, you know, lose every sense of, I don't know, you, you just become numb. Yes, there's been people who have experienced that. So the man said, lock the door. Yes, and you know- And then you, she locked the door. Would you? Like I said, I won't do that. My natural instinct is to scream or to, you know, but raise- the door and then- Yes, or to, st or to actually start to intimidate him. Okay. But then, like I said, it's different when you're actually in the situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a totally different ball game. You understand? I, I want to say um, to your question, Nigeria, I don't think we're cursed. Because <laughs> it's not a Nigerian thing. Mm -hmm. There was Absolutely. a Ghanaian uh, lecture lecturer that was a part of it. And this, this is something that ha happens outside the country. I would say the difference is that we don't have laws that, um, that we don't have laws that are backing these offenses. Actions. These I actions, think the laws are there. Or laws are, they are they not, enforced? they're not enforced, yes. Okay. So people in some of these countries outside um, in the UK, let mm -hmm. me use the UK as an example, it happens, but it's either you're extremely careful or you would rather just avoid it because you know that if I dare touch this girl, I don't, she might be dressed in underwear to class. It's not your business. You look and take your eye away. You understand? Okay. It's not about her dressing. It has nothing to do with how, she's, how skimpy her skirt is. Do you agree with that? Mm. I think um, if, if we must address issues, we must, as much as possible, try to steer away from the sentiments, the symptoms, but get to the root cause. And like I, I had alluded, I think the first thing is to catch attention of self. Um, what if somebody doesn't have that so-called self-control, if I believe that's where you are going to? Th then that, that, then that, that, that's, that's, that's a condition that needs help, medical help. 
The person needs help. Yes. Yeah, it, it, we need to we need to call it what it is. Now to say talk about laws we mean that we are addressing the aftermath. That's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely dangerous. I mean, how much damage would we probably have cost? Uh, what judgment could you put on someone who has been so infiltrated? It's preventive, right? it, yes, we should be proactive about it. Mm -hmm. There should be less attention. We tend to run too much after sensation when we when we have human mankind threatening circumstances on our hands. Yeah, but you see, the mankind threatening circumstances are happening so often that it's becoming. Is it endemic or epidemic still, proportions? Still, so sir, with that in sir, itself. Sir, with, yes. with, with, all, with all due respect, mm -hmm. we can... The same effort to catch ourselves is one required not to be carried away by sensationalism. Mm -hmm. by there's, a, just the, there's, there's a danger here, yes. just for the sake of argument. Here is somebody religiously inclined, so he's supposed to mold... Then, same person, supposed to be intellectually inclined and supposed to mold. I assume he also comes from a home. I want to assume, too, that he's married and has children, maybe even a daughter. Unfortunately, universities are known and notorious for girls being taken advantage of because they did not pass their exams so well they had to part with something of their body and their pride before they can. A university, I, I, I imagine, is a citadel of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So certain expectations are naturally in place for such institutions. But should we have to necessarily make it an issue with academia? Do we it's actually the have these issues between fathers and daughters? OK. You're now broadening the scope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, because, if, like I said, if we want to address the root cause, we can't afford to be carried away by, with the sensationalism and, you know, all okay. the what buzz do you think? What words. do you think is the root cause? Hmm. Love. Eh? <laughs> Love. Love. You agree with that? I'm not sure what angle you're okay. coming from. Okay. <laughs> In fact, she's so polite. Do we should ask <laughs> you <laughs> Yeah, okay, love. Right. And anyone who experiences love enough to... Are we looking at lust, not love? Love, L-O-V-E. Okay. Lust is a the natural human occurrence. It's natural. If we disrespect these natural expressions, we stand to fall victim. Love is what you need to work hard at. Lust is very easy to come by. Is natural love you have to work extra hard for it so you can and if you don't lust. if you don't that's what I mean lost is easier to get than love hmm. and it's okay. well um, as much as definitely such detestable behavior is not to be defended by any measure mm -hmm. but the question I ask myself would be could that be me Good question. Could mm. that be me? Mm. You see, the tendency to condemn sometimes make us overlook the need to check self. Mm. And we can only best be good example by our own conduct and behavior, okay. not what we talk about. Miss Oda, is it possible that a woman can find herself in a situation where she inadvertently seduces the man? Or she deliberately seduces the man with a view to getting something in return. Because the man is now the one is being, who is being questioned. But what about the women? Of course, women do that a lot of times. Hmm. Yes. I like the way you're smiling <laughs> on this. <laughs> because it's, uh, it's something we see a lot. Okay. Women, women um, I mean, <laughs> sex is something that is exchanged for so many things. Hmm. Could be money, grades, uh, jobs, um, you know, contracts, different things. So it's, um, <laughs> this is such a deep. I'm glad you're frank expand, about that. It would be so, uh, we would not so be able to discuss Are you it therefore the saying that the man, like this man who has but been. But this situation. No, don't forget too, this man was set up. Albeit not, yeah, but this is something, something he that does. is justifiable. No, 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 he actually is. fell for it. 
Yeah, Let's but be this, this is not a first time situation for him. Yeah, because, because he said there had got the evidence. That. Exactly. Yeah. There's been people yeah. who have said they've um, fallen into this man's uh, traps. Exactly. So mm -hmm. it's not the first time. So that's why it was so easy for him to, you know, to be caught. Exactly. If we, w w w I watched it and I saw that he was the one saying, "Oh, you're a beautiful girl, beautiful girl, this and that." All she wanted was to get into, to be enrolled into the university. Mm -hmm. So this and is even at yes. 17. There's there are women who definitely um, try to seduce men. Yeah, man, yeah. Yes, absolutely. But my own stance in this situation is that okay, those are the students, right? These female um, females who do that. Mm. This is a man who is in a position of authority. And a position to mold. Yes. So he's the one that should be able to turn this uh, female, this female or whoever it is, mm -hmm. away. That's because that, because there are consequences. That's in the situ uh, society where laws work. You think laws don't work in Nigeria? I, I beg to differ. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, here the focus is on the academic again, but we have other institutions, right? Mm -hmm. Again, I'll go back to home. If the focus is to address the issue, then we will spend less attention on just the hula baloo of the sensation that comes out of this. Well, unfortunately for the academic institution, that's a, this is a major slap on the, it's dented the reputation to, to, to a good extent. And it makes one wonder what other areas should a floodlight be shed, hmm. you know, beyond just this. Is okay. it true that the academia would be responsible for the upliftment or a downfall of a community? Well, we're centers of excellence, we said. Well, That's so how the, academy, the, the university is supposed to be a center of excellence. So yeah. maybe it's telling us, should we dig further? Again, like I said, is the academia responsible for upliftment in this country There's or so its many downfall? people who have graduated who have no reason being graduates. So many people. <laughs> That's a serious one. Okay, well, we just heard that there are so many people who have graduated and have no reason for being graduates. Anyway, we'll be right back after the break and they'll take it from there. Law enforcement. Checking the body, checking the mind, and of course, counseling people. There are so many things going on these days. There's also the mental health uh, uh, sessions that you talk to people now and again to counsel them. Anyway, we'll be right back. I want to see a Nigeria that works. I want to see a Nigeria that wherever, whenever I leave this country, Mm. that I'll be proud of that passport. Lagos. Lagos is a proof that Nigeria can work. Mm. Accountability is not part of our system because nobody has demanded it. And mm. until you demand something, it mm. won't be given. When young people leave the shores of this country and they go overseas, they, excel. they spread their wings, they yeah. excel. So there must be something fundamentally wrong with our space. Yeah. It's been taken over by demonic, evil people. There's no way uh, anyone can go overseas and see how things work and then come back on that plane. And as you are landing in Lagos <laughs> or in Abuja or wherever, no, we have to yeah. be real. Yeah. As you land, you go, okay, welcome home. We love our country. There's no doubt about mm. it. But you land and you know, <sighs> here we go. It pays the strong political actors to have weak institutions. You see, it is the politics of the pay pocket where they, they deliberately emasculate our people financially, economically, where you have young men who stay home pay can't take them home. <laughs> okay, from what we just heard, you know, there's a lady there that talked about accountability. And in this instance, we're referring to situations where whatever you do should be accountable for it. Should this man be accountable for it? <laughs> if that doesn't happen, then we would have laid back foundation for a total breakdown of humanity. So how should we enforce this law then? Uh, Those who have been caught have been caught. Those who are not caught are saints. Now, um, it's it's of course unfortunately once you are caught by law you should be made to face the music but does that address the issue i keep insisting you know punishment how corrective is it is it just punitive 
And how much can we really apply this if we all in our homes are guilty in one way or the other? Yeah, who? Yeah. Yeah, but it's a, it's a positive step. No doubt about it. Progress. No, no, no. I mean, there should be uh, there punishment it should, should serve as offense, deterrent. Right? It should, it, it should, some people need to be used as examples yeah. to make sure, to, because when you see that, oh, it has happened to this person, then it can definitely happen if I try it. But when nobody, when I'm able to pay my way out of a situation or if people just forget after a while, yeah. what I, stops I, me from doing Honestly, I, I think, you know, once we don't, we fail to look at things from a holistic perspective, we would always just get carried away by the sensation. I, 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 I can't say that enough. We have a whole lot of challenges around us. Not just in Nigeria, but if we were to focus on Nigeria, we've got so much. We want to talk about even those that should uphold the law. Is it just in this regard? So, see, if we don't look at it from a whole so perspective, we would throw away the baby with the bath water. But then what we are all saying here is that there's, it is bigger yeah. than we even imagine. Yeah. Absolutely. So and that's the more the reason, forward? that's the more reason why we should use more of a, bi um, a microscope than a binoculars. Okay, so how do we apply a microscope in a densely populated nation like Nigeria? Very easy. Start with self. Uh -huh. That is what has been deluding and making us go after shadows. We keep talking about institutions. We keep talking about government. Who is the government? Who, who, who make up the institution? Is it not you and I? This gentleman has a brother, a sister. A daddy, a mommy, friend, so does the woman. If we can address this from the self perspective and focus, then we are closer to solutions. Otherwise, we'll be chasing shadows and ghosts all over the place. Okay, for those of you who want to call, feel free. This is a very volatile topic sex in the institutions, sex for grades, sex for everything. I don't know how you want to call it, but honestly, it is a matter that is begging for solution. And it's not just about the man alone, it's also the woman. And it's not just about the woman alone, it's also the man. It's also about the parents, it's also about, also about the kids who may be underage but are exposed wrongly to things. For example, blue movies in the homes, painful as it is. It's having, not, not even in the homes, but internet, social media. How are these things applied? Who is su supposed to have access to it, to anything? Yes, your line is thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. That <laughs> porn is accessible to... Okay, porn. Yeah, right. it's accessible to anybody in this day and age. It's not something that... <sighs> Will I say, can you restrict your child from <laughs> watching it? I'm not sure. No, but isn't that a I'm bit... That's a bit dangerous because yeah, but if you cannot you have to. I feel to like the best way to approach it uh -huh. with kids is to tell them you can't restrain them. Own opinion, I'm, Thank I'm you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. How are you, sir? Go ahead. So based on the uh, the topic you uh, brought up to, to right. tonight, yes, it's a very good uh, event, and uh, we have been having this challenge even when I was in school. Yeah. The, the classmate of mine. Right now, the lady is in US. Mm. And one of our lecturers also threatened her up to the level of I have the lady to now make use of an engagement ring in order to do, disengage the demand. Mm. But I'm telling you today, Sunday, the lady has a carryover of that man. Mm. Which wow. made this lady to just have a, let me just call it a pass in our final years. But thank God the lady is in, it's okay today. All these things we have been having all these challenges, not today, not yesterday. Hmm. It's getting, it's getting out of that. Thank you, you will see somebody that, like what the other woman was saying, hmm. we have lady that is using, they believe that they will use their body to get whatever what they want. In my, when I was in my position, a lady that is not 
if you if you are to count when you show up in a natural room out of a semester, may not even have they not even come up to five times in a natural room. But when after the exam, when they clear the results, go and check their results, they will be the one that will have the highest score. Wow. We find it how come. The people that are receiving stressing themselves, coming to nature, doing all sorts of things, those reading will have mark ahead of them. So we have a new government can help us to rectify all these problems. Okay. And it's not only government. Yeah. It's also for those uh, students, just like this uh, issue of uh, you need to capture this man, I believe things will be things will get done in this country. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, thank, thank, you. thank you very much indeed. Now that's a very serious. The, the, the one that's even mind-boggling is a lady who's in the U.S. up to now still had a carryover from the lecturer who tried to harass her. Oh my goodness. I'm afraid to even wonder what can happen if in any situation the lecturers get their, the best out of any woman and so the women keep passing because they had their way. That's why I said a lot of graduates have no reason being graduates mm. because they've been able to, you know, buy their way through university, and they come out and they, they you cannot you cannot defend your your degree. It's, it's a lot of these things that happen. Yes. Well, um, what I am hearing more here is suggesting that the female students are the victims. Yes. Obviously, everybody believes that they are the victims. Most of them, I Majority, say. I believe, not 100%. No, some definitely. Mm. No, maybe the circumstance made those ones who were now succumbing to become lazy mentally and, of course, mm. emotionally. Well, I, I, I can't help. Which is not a, just, just not a justifiable reason, but. Absolutely not. I, I can't help but to wonder um, could there be male victims? I guess so. Could we have same no sex? Fire. Could we have same sex? Rape is rape. Out there. So, again, I must say that we need to come back to what humanity is. I mentioned love. It, um, it, it, it will seem to me mm -hmm. that the man in question here needs help. Those who need, who wish to use whatever endowment, cash, bodily. Uh, 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 beauty, mm. intelligence, um, connections in towards um, on towards motives mm -hmm. is what needs to be addressed. Okay, now so so it shouldn't be a question of because as long as we keep allowing ourselves to go along all sorts of imaginations that do exist, we will fail okay. to address the because issue. The time is up. Can we now round off very quickly? Let's suggest solutions, albeit in a Thank summarized you. form. Yeah. And then these solutions should include, for example, the law, self, and the victim. We, we need to, it, it, it would seem that there is a crisis. Uh, we don't have statistics. We need to have statistics. We won't have enough statistics if we don't speak out. We have to speak out. And those who have special training in this area, psychiatrists, um, sociologists, Can and so on, they, 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 they should feel challenged. They, they talk to people. I'm talking about it. Yes, okay. and, and come up with uh, curriculum on radio, on TV, different channels that would educate and enlighten us. That is really where the... Freedom will come from. Okay, Winnie? Yes, I would say definitely have uh, shows that educate people on what this, you know, problem is. It's such a horrific thing that's happening, and it's a huge problem that needs to be addressed. In universities, they need to have okay. uh, reorientation for the okay. lecturers. All right. And yes. if thank you so much. Uh, they said time is up, and we have to really sign off from here. But please take note. You have a responsibility to yourself and to your society. Don't fail to do that. Thank you for being with us on Sony Report Live. Good night now.